Tonight on Market Call, we've got David Burroughs, president of Barometer Capital Management. He's taking your calls and emails on North American large caps. Good evening and welcome to Market Call tonight. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like to contact David to ask him a question, you can do that by calling us toll free at 1-855-326-6266. And you see the email address there as well, marketcall at bnn.ca. Good to see you. Good to be here. Here we are back at it, September. Uh, August was a bit ugly. What do you make of this environment that we're in right now? Is it very difficult to, to pick stocks at the moment? It's, it's a very tough environment, I think, for all investors. Uh, you've got all kinds of conflicts. And, and probably the biggest issue are, is that there are certain binary outcomes out there that are sort of all or nothing. <clears throat> and so I think it's very difficult for investors to factor the risks. Uh, and with all the uncertainty, it means that people are being a lot more cautious. So you really have to pick your spots. Uh, and I think that this is one of those times when you, you don't need to be all out there. Uh, you want to have some money on the sidelines. Uh, and you want to err on the side of being a little more cautious, I think. So uh, you're going to talk about cash later on. I know you're quite defensive right now. Does that mean uh, being predominantly situated in uh, uh, companies that, that issue dividends of some sort, income? Uh, you know, our view is, and, and over half the money we run is in an income strategy. <clears throat> But even in our equity strategy, close to 40% of our securities are income-producing securities currently. Uh, we have a lot of gold, and we have quite a lot of cash. And I just think it's a time to be focused on things that you can count on if the economy got more difficult. Businesses in general are doing quite well, and they have strong balance sheets. But the net of it is we're, we're going to see some downward revisions to earnings through the fall. And so stocks may not be quite as cheap as they appear. And I think that you just, again, want to be prepared to pick your spots. Yeah, we keep hearing about the low price earnings ratios, but uh, if those earnings estimates start to come down, then maybe the, uh, uh, the earnings part of that equation is not quite right right now. And, and that could certainly be the case, and it really depends on the sector. You know, the Canadian market, unfortunately, is highly economically sensitive. So you've got, you know, energy, you've got materials, you've got uh, industrials making up a big part of the market. Uh, we, we're, we're light on things like consumer staples and pharmaceuticals, uh, the things that, you know, will generate cash whether or not the economy is strong. And we are somewhat obviously dependent on, you know, countries like, you know, many of the Asian countries and, and, and so they can have an impact on us. So, you know, you, you really, I think this is not a time to own the market. If you're going to be invested, you really need to pick your spots and find things that make sense given what we know is going on right now. We're hearing uh, that uh, China may help out Italy buying some of their bonds. We're hearing that the, the BRIC countries may be willing to buy some bonds, maybe not so much of the periphery countries, uh, but more so of other European countries, stronger European countries. But do you think, do you think that kind of thing is somewhat of a calming, would have a calming effect, at least on the markets? Well, I'm, I'll be a little controversial on this. I think that that would be the first, first blush view of a lot of people. But think of it this way. If you go to the bank and you can't get a loan, and you have to go to your Uncle Joe to borrow a little bit of money, that probably doesn't tell, say very much about your credit worthiness. So if the bond market isn't prepared to buy your bonds and you need a, a special favor, then that probably tells you that there's a bigger problem than, than some people think. Right. All right, uh, we will get your views uh, throughout the show here, David. Macro and primarily micro. As, uh, David drills down on a number of companies that you're going to ask about. He's talking about North American large caps tonight, so come back for uh, the answers and questions right after this. Thank you.